Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Friday as we celebrate Black History Month. Mound Bayou, Mississippi, Blackdom, New Mexico, Rosewood, Florida, Greenwood, Oklahoma, Allensworth, California, Hobson City, Alabama. These are a few names of the nearly 200 black settlements that were established in the U.S. after slavery. Residential segregation is often seen as one of the more harmful effects of racism in the U.S., but there was a time when some blacks chose to create their own racially separate communities. These black townships were established to promote economic independence, self-government, and social equity for their predominantly black residents. Freeman towns provided a nurturing atmosphere, shielding their residents from everyday racism and providing opportunities that they did not have outside of their communities. There were churches and schools, post offices and banks, city government, houses. There were also pharmacies, stores and hotels. More than 80 of these black settlements were created 50 years after the Civil War, but it wasn't until emancipation in 1863 that the population of free blacks was large enough to supply settlers for these new towns. Starting and sustaining these towns was hard work, but the people kept coming. The settlers were not concerned about how hard it was going to be. They were focused on a promise, the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you everybody for watching and if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.